Hello my friends, welcome back to today's video. I have the winter collection of house mouse in the house. So we have this cute little guy here. And let's see, his packaging is here. This is Snuggle Up. And this sentiment right here I think says it all. The snuggle is real. Is that not precious? So we're going to be coloring this up today. And my focus is the leaves and the wood. To me, these are a little more advanced techniques. There are lots more colors in them. So that's going to be my main focus today. So I've already colored up their skin. So I've shown skin in other videos. And today we're going to focus on these a little more difficult, but not hard, techniques. So this is the one of the new stamps this is candy hearts and you want to stay tuned till the end of this video because i have three more cards sharing all three of these and it's a coordinated set of cards and they are adorable so please stay tuned till the end this is candy hearts this one oh and i wanted to mention they all have sentiments so this is happy valentine's day and i love you this one here is, I think, my favorite. This one's Knit One. And my mom was a knitter. So this is like Knit One, Pearl One, Knit One, Pearl One. So knitting is all a combination of those stitches. And this one here, You Warm My Heart, Sending Warm Birthday Wishes. And the one that's not in the package that I used last night was All You Knit Is Love. I just want to sing that song. All you knit is love. Da -na 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 -na. all you need is love all you knit is love so i will definitely need to put that back in the package it is right here so i will get that back in there i promise and then we have we heart you which is them i think munching on lollipops that's what i'm thinking so these are our four stamps and like i said stick around you want to see these samples and if you're new to my channel i would absolutely love for you to subscribe if you're unsure just yet watch a few of my videos and see if you like my content i do a little bit of this and a little bit of that and i would love to have you as a friend so if um you like what you see like Send me a little love in the comments and let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and I will touch you back at the end of the video. Okay, let's go.
Okay guys, so here is my finished sample, and with this sample, uh, the only two products I brought in with this sample was the Postage Edge Rectangle Dies, and on this die, the only thing I used was this die here, which is the second die in. This die is an A2 die, so it fits the outside of the edge. It's the same dye I used here on my second sample. Isn't aren't they adorable? This one I also used here, as you can see, along the edge. And I also used one of these here to cut out the frame and also to cut out this inner piece. And this is the Precision Layering A2 set. Then for this detail embossing, I use the Dazzling Dots embossing folder. So as you can see, these two both have that dotted edge around the outer. So those are my first two cards. Then, and this right here also is the notched edge rectangle, just so you know. Then my last two cards, check this out. Is this not adorable? And this was actually my first card that I colored and I corresponded my other two samples here, my bonus samples, all on the colors of the candies. So I've used two of the sentiments in this one, and I did lots of texture here. So for this border on the outside, I actually used the fluted classic rectangles and 
then for this portion in here, I use the back side of the Deco Holiday embossing folder. And I just love the texture that that created here on this corner. Because I had used the largest one of the floral reflection dies. I had used the largest cutting die. So when I did this, I didn't have a way to border my die cut here. So I had to get creative. And to do that, I went ahead and cut another one of these. And then I cut it straight down the center and I offset it out to the edges, which gave me this shadow here. And you notice the shadow is not in the centers. It's because I've stretched it in behind. And then I did this layering here to give it this extra dimension. And I just love the way this turned out. I love this. It just has a lot of texture and feeling and I just, I adore this card. So then for my last bonus card, all you knit is love. Da -na 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 -na. All you knit is love. And I just love this one. So I hope you guys love this one too. So for this one, I used the Essential Modern Ovals. And I used this very center die to do this sentiment and the Snuggle is Real sentiment. So I love the way that sentiments, those sentiments fit in this. And because I didn't want to go super high here, I went ahead and just did that same cut in the center technique and expanded the sentiment. So on the edges. And that made it just look perfect, I think. So, and then this outside piece is... The Infinity Punch and Pierce Plate. I just used the outer edge of that and I covered up all the center from that Essential Modern Oval. So these are my four cards for today. And I want to know which is your favorite. I have two favorites, actually. Let me move them up here so you can see them. I have two favorites. I would have to say this one probably is my absolute favorite because of all this dimension. But this one, this one reminds me of Mommy. So I probably would have to pick this one. I love this dimension, but I love this one. So I don't know. I like them all. But I hope this tutorial today has been helpful to you and that you've fallen in love with these house mouse stamps as much as I have. I've really enjoyed this video and I hope the speeding up of the video has helped the length of this, this one because it was a lot doing all that coloring. But I hope you have benefited from it. Have a wonderful day, my friends, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.